You're crazy, man. You freaking Leo are just plain crazy. You bust in a man's house. Why? I bet it was some kind of lead, right? An anonymous source. I bet you. That's what you all say, ain't it? Well, we got a story, actually two coming up involving the Pagan's Motorcycle Club. One has to deal with a shooting of an off-duty sheriff. Wait till you hear this one. And the other has to do with the SWAT team coming in, all barrels down, because the guy had some coke, had a couple guns. Well, he's a felon. He shouldn't have it. Wait till you hear the felony, and it has to involve an iPhone. Crazy. Okay, you ready for this craziness? I'm ready for this craziness. Here we go. This is the craziness. And this happened out of Florida. And just listen to some of the parts that I'm going to be covering. Again, it's all in the description box. Say it. It's all in the description box. You know, like that Adam Sandler thing? It's all in the hips. Yeah, you know, get in the program. Anyway, Florida Keys News. Boy, I wish I was down there right now. It's freezing up here. A SWAT team raided a Key West home, a motorcycle gang member, then went to jail, police said. And there you go. This is what they got. This is it. SWAT team interrupted a sleepy Key West neighborhood on Thursday. They found a local who's also a motorcycle gang member. At home with guns he's not allowed to have, along with cocaine and cash from drug deals. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office said he is a member of the Motor uh, Pagan's Motorcycle Club. Sheriff Office investigators and the agency SWAT team, because you needed that. Working with Key West police and federal agents. Oh, the alphabet agencies are here. Arrived with the search warrant at about 3.45 p.m. Meyer was found on property holding a firearm, but he dropped it when he saw law enforcement officers. That's what you're supposed to do. A woman and two children were also at the home, but no other arrests were made. You're going to make these people's lives live in hell, aren't you? You're going to call in child services and all that stuff. I know that's what you people are going to do. And for what? Let's listen in here. Meyer, who has a 2013 felony theft conviction, was found with an AR-15, two pistols, along with 140 rounds, Nearly 12 grams of cocaine. That's personal use crap right there, man. 3,300 in suspected drug proceeds and a digital scale. So that means if you bust in my place and you see my digital scale that I use for the U.S. mail, that means I'm a drug dealer? What the hell's wrong with you people? He was charged with possession of cocaine, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, possession of ammunition by a convicted felon. Now, why is he a felon? In 2013, he pleaded guilty to theft of an iPhone that was worth 300 or more. So they took all his rights away over an iPhone. Was that your basis of raiding this house? Was somebody gave you info that he had some weapons or something? 
12 grams is all you got? Now, he is uh, in the county jail where he's being held without bond. Holy cow! Without bond? Are you serious? You got people being released all over the country with no bond for worse. You guys are crazy down there. You're insane. It's the definition of insanity. 3,300 in suspected drug proceeds? He must have been a hook on phonics drug sale uh, dropout because that's not a lot, man. That could have been his rent. Car payment with rent. That's what I don't like about some of these stories that come out of these newspapers is they only give the one side. Now, what do I see here? I see an AR-15 broke down. I see, you know, a 9 looks like a 45. Some club stuff. Not a lot of freaking money, man. Look at there. Usually, if you're in a drug bus, you're looking at 20s, 50s, 100s. No, we got a bunch of singles there. You people are downright insane. Let's go to this other one that has some uh, red flags up for me. Observer, reporter, boy, you guys are really with it all the time. Man to stand trial in New Year's Eve shooting at North Stradbin Bar. Uh, now, he's going to uh, stand trial on attempted homicide charges after he's accused of firing gunshots at an occupied vehicle following an altercation with an off-duty sheriff. You know they carry guns, right? Let's just get that out there. Off duties, they carry it. Joseph Josnack, who is a Washington County Sheriff's deputy, but was off duty during the New Year's Eve celebration, testified they were enjoying the evening shortly before midnight when Frazzy began throwing harsh words. When he walked over to a jukebox and then was getting hostile with them, Josick testified that Franzi told him he didn't care that he was a cop. And the two exchanged words. Now, you know what comes to mind? Copies. Remember that? When all those off-duty undercovers just started everything and started beating on the pagans? Remember that? I got a long-term memory here. Now, he testified that no punches were thrown, but they got into a wrestling match before getting separated. Jazak and the two other men got into a vehicle and drove away. He heard multiple gunshots and glass breaking. Give me a break. One of the passengers in the vehicle, Matthew po uh, Poland, was struck in the right shoulder by either sharp metal or glass. Huh. Believable? Nah. Don't think so. Don't think so. Now, two witnesses testified that they saw a black handgun tucked into the back of Franzi's pants while he was wrestling Jaws Sack. What precipitated the argument inside the bar between the two ultimately spilled out in the parking lot was not known. The cop indicated it might have been over a former love interest, and they would also testified he believed Frazzi was a member of the Pagan's Motorcycle Club. What's his affiliation have to do with the fight, you jackass? See, this is why I'm a little upset, because right here, we have a situation that you kind of can compare to Kopi's. It's funny. These off-duty cops, they still think 
that they're on duty and can push anybody around. Nowhere in the newspaper article did I see something about a love interest. I think dudes whacked. And then glass breaking? Come on! Really? He's just gonna shoot at you because of a wrestling match? And you're the one who said you believed he was a Pagan's Motorcycle Club member. What's it matter if he was? You were probably being a jacknut. Straight up. That's why a lot of people don't like seeing undercover cops or cops, former cops, and MCs. Because when you're about to get your ass handed to you, you put up that shiny steel freaking badge. I think that's going to save your ass. Just saying. This is ridiculous. Especially the first one. <laughs> Over the $300 or more iPhone. The guy loses his right to firearms? And gives you a reason to hit him? What kind of investigation did you have going on? It doesn't say. And then the ghost says, suspected drug sales. You know better than that. He didn't have no money. He had dollars. And personal consumption. Something you probably walk up here in Illinois for. But you give him no bail and guarantee you're going to use the club in his trial. Guaranteed. Because that's what you guys do. Anyway, don't forget to go over to my other channel, Real Biker Talk or Hollywood's Real Biker Talk, where we talk about all kinds of subjects. The one video that I have over there right now premiering on 131 is about two wheels. Harley sucks, Indian sucks, they all suck. But who cares as long as it makes you happy. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Rock on, man. We outie.